Hey, Steve Zick here. Welcome back to Pokes Food Channel and the Guitar Letter System. Hey, this is such an incredible guitar. This is all solid wood. Um, like I've said a million times, folks, guitars vary greatly from, from guitar to guitar. And for me to have a guitar, even in my small guitar business as inventory, I have to love it. It has to have the mojo. And boy, does this have the mojo. This reminds me a lot of a really good, I mean, a really good, let me move something here, like a really good, you know, 50s or early 60s J45. This is all solid wood. This is not a performance. Just showing the guitar. Yeah, these just have that they have that um that really nice kind of woody rounded sound but with plenty of overtones and I was in guitar, I don't go to Guitar Center much, I'm not too crazy about it, but I was there the other day and I was trying some different guitars from, you know, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, none of them even sounded even close to as good as this, they, they sounded more compressed, so. Let me, let me at least share one little idea, you know, I'm in Dadgad here, here's something that sounds really good, things like this. And you kind of get this, let me get that. It's different, but it's just a two, these kind of a simple chord with the open strings with the two fingers in, like patterns like this. Sometimes just simple things like, you know.
technique I'm using, I've showed this before, is you do um, you do down with the with the thumb, hammer with the left hand, down with the thumb, and brush up. So down with the thumb, hammer on the left hand, down with the thumb, and brush up. That gives you this. This guitar is 699 OBO. It doesn't have a case. I, I, I think we should get at least a gig bag to ship it in. This, this guitar is a sleeper. Trust me, this thing sounds like something you could pay 10 times the money for. Uh, it's going to be worth a lot of money someday. I know what I'm talking about. I really know guitars. If you want to check out my credibility, go to vintageguitar.com, which is Vintage Guitar Magazine. Put in Steve Zook. Read my CD review. But uh, yeah, this is insane. Just a lot of tone. Big brands just aren't worth it anymore. You gotta look for those sleepers, look for those guitars that were just super well. They, they don't even make these anymore. And I know I've been a dealer with the Music Link for I think 11, 12 years. And uh, th this is like, you know, a guitar you could, go, you could go pay three grand for, but I've actually got two of them. It's really hard to let them go. But anyway, that's kind of a neat technique, huh? It's great for finger style. But yeah, mess with those things are kind of kind of sound cool, huh?
just waking up here, so excuse the mistakes. But like again, it's not a performance, more just showing this guitar. It sounds unbelievable, really. I mean, it's got some you know, minor surface level scratches and stuff. But this is the setup on this is unreal. I actually dialed it in myself. Somebody had put a a little uh, shim under here, and I took the shim, and it was a weird shim too. It was like made out of like metal, which I don't know. It, once I took the shim out, it just dropped right down and went right into a really, really nice setup, a really low action. Even with it's got 11s on it, you could put 12s on it, it would still be a nice low action, but not so low that you lose tone. Anyway, unbelievable. guitar Whoops, yeah. really a fun technique that flamenco technique again you down with the thumb hammer on the left hand, down with the thumb and brush up. hard to let them go but you know what I can't keep everything that I bring in for inventory but yeah this is really a sweet sounding box RAJ122 all solid wood like a J45 they don't make them anymore all right this is probably gonna take a long time to download like I said it's got some surface level scratches you know the real thin little things but overall the guitar looks great sounds like you know something you could pay thousands for it. It's got that old vintage J45 tone, would blow away a new one, you know, which anyway, I don't want to get into that big, big rap, but it's a beautiful guitar. It's got to go to a good home or I'm not going to sell it. Anyway, it sounds unbelievable. It's like the kind of guitar you play, you get goosebumps. I'm not kidding. All right, take care.